For now, the Federal University of Agriculture, Abe Okuta Ogun State, one out of the first universities of agriculture in Nigeria, established 1st of January, 1988. The university started off from the old campus of Abe Okuta Grammar School, Isaleg Bain, near the city center, then moved to their permanent site along Alabata Road in 1997. The University of Agriculture Abe Okuta offers world-class scholarly excellence with teaching, research, creative work, fostering, intellectual culture, production of products, and making students rich through agriculture. FUNAB has been favored with unique excellence with well-serving and productive vice-chancellors, ranging from the first vice-chancellor in 1997, Professor Nuruddin Nimbe Adedikpe, to the current vice-chancellor, Professor Felix Kolawole Salako, the sixth substantive vice-chancellor and current Southwestern Nigerian coordinator, who took over the baton of leadership on the 1st of November 2017 till date. I'm Felix Kolaoli Shalako, born on April 18, 1951. So I'll be 60 in April this year. I was born and bred at uh, Ebutemeta East, Lagos. Um, I attended two primary schools, Salvation Army Primary School, Freeman Street, Ebutemeta, and Shinjus Primary School, also at Freeman Street, uh, Street Ebutemeta. Then proceeded to the Apostolic Church Grammar School, Orishigun, for my school search. And that was where I did my West African School certificate examination. I came out with grade one. That took me to Ibobi College for a year. I have uh, certificate uh, uh, class, but I spent only one year instead of two because I got admission at the to to study agriculture at the University of Nigeria Suka. So I started my bachelor's degree in 1978, completed it in 1983, went for national youth service uh, in uh, Amadou Bello University Institute of Agricultural Research, and. Uh, from there, I went back to Nsuka to obtain my master's degree in soil science, soil conservation precisely. After the master's degree, I worked as a consulting soil scientist for a private firm in Bodhijai Bado. So from there, I moved to International Institute of Tropical Agriculture. I think that was 1989. I worked between 1987 and 1989 at the consultancy firm then proceeded to International Institute of Tropical Agriculture as a research associate in 1989. I spent 11 years there before I joined the Federal University of Agriculture at Belkuta. Apart from teaching courses at undergraduate and postgraduate levels, Professor Felix Kolawole supervised more than 45 undergraduate projects and more than 30 postgraduate thesis. He was an acting head of Department of Soil Science and Land Management from February 2001 to December 2006. He became a professor of soil physics in 2006 and he has to his credit more than 90 publications in learned journals, book chapters, conference proceedings, and technical reports. He moved on to become the Deputy Vice-Chancellor in December 2011 and spent two terms of two years each till December 2015. Journey as a Vice Chancellor in FUNAB, Professor Felix Salako gives details on what his office entails. 
let me say this, there's nothing unusual about any human being going through ups and downs. It's normal for life. The trajectory of life cannot be linear. So for anything that is not uh, not enjoyable, we should accept. For everything that is enjoyable, let us thank God for it too. So we, it has been a, a question of uh, getting it right, having some people understanding you and having some people misunderstanding you. And when you have people who misunderstand you, that creates obstacles, particularly in administration. And all your efforts, to, you spend energy, more energy, trying to persuade people to really understand, for you to really move forward. But I think the overall experience is that I've been very comfortable being in the Federal University of Agriculture at Bill I think it's a place to be. The Vice Chancellor is the Chief Executive of the University, but the University system has to be is democratic and has to be demo, uh, democratic. You run the university using what you call the committee system. You gather opinions from different sets of people and synthesize them to move forward. Yes, you must have your initiative, you must have your vision, you must have your mission. And uh, you cannot just come into the position without really being prepared for it. There is no university where a vice chancellor can be autocratic anyway. It has to be group work, but then a leader must define where the work stops. A leader must define that. So even if uh, you have people advising you, you take responsibilities. So you take responsibility for your actions. So the vice chancellor must be a democrat number one you must also have vision and mission to raise the standard in the university he must discharge his duty fairly and truthfully i think just what you expect from any chief executive of an organization provide leadership in such a way that you raise the standard of that organization beyond the level where you met it Professor Felix Alako also talked about FUNA being a place to be for students. You will uh, agree with me that as soon as you enter a gate, you love the environment. I mean, the, the green scene, the horticultural plant, and the architecture of some buildings. But beyond that, we need to talk about the content. Uh, let me start with our students. We have a set of students who are well behaved. Our students are well behaved and uh, they are able. When you meet them on campus, you see that these are students who really are there with rules and regulations. And the same thing with the staff. Courtesy is always there. We don't have people who will shout at anybody even when you don't know the person. In fact, that's when you should be extra careful. And uh, the services we render, yes, we still have our shortcomings. I'm not saying we're perfect in this regard. You may have one or two persons who are not really doing their job well. But majority of us have strive to do what is right at the right time. So one is comfortable with this kind of work environment because you are not just going to be the only person who will do the job. The vice chancellor is at the top. There are many layers before you get to the Vice Chancellor and we incorporate it in our staff. Everybody matters, including the man who carries the mail. So if any 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 segment of the chain is too weak, it will affect administration. Imagine if I am to receive a, a memo from the president today and a clerk will not deliver it on time. And the president says be with me tomorrow. That can be a disaster. So everybody matters in the system and uh, I think generally the staff work well, the students behave well 
I've not said that you're 100% perfect, but I think by Nigerian standard, by international standard, this environment is good enough. The Deputy Vice Chancellor gave insight on the development of the project and how the leadership of the Vice Chancellor, Professor Felix Kolawole Salako, has been effective in FUNAB. Uh, Professor Salako, I to my um, mind or my assessment, is a quintessential leader, a proactive leader an articulate leader. Uh, leadership is not an easy task. It's always very easy when you are the other side to criticize. But when, when, when you are to manage men and resources, and not just men this time around, you are managing students, you are managing intellectuals, then you are doing a great job. So, uh, Professor Salako is a proactive leader is one leader that is, is experienced. It's not just, it's not easy to just wake up one day and want to be a leader. It, it, it doesn't work that way. He grew through the ranks too. He, has a, he was a two-term Deputy Vice Chancellor of Development. He sat on this seat for about four years. And he was also opportune to learn from two different Vice Chancellors with their various modes of, uh, of uh, of, uh, of governance. So, he, 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 over time, you know, he has developed himself. So, he came into the administration well equipped. So, he knows what to do and he knows how to do it and he's a goal getter. So, also, Professor Bolanle Akere Dolu, Deputy Vice Chancellor Academics, also gave insight on the relationship and leadership skills of Professor Felix Kolawole Salako. The Vice Chancellor is a very visionary uh, person, a very hardworking man. I must uh, say that, you know, he, he has uh, this way of always driving people to get uh, uh, results for, for what he uh, whatever he earmarks for people to do. So he is a very uh, visionary person. He, he, he tends to see ahead. And uh, in most things, most uh, issues that we have handled, that's what we have discovered, that a lot of the time he would have done certain, taken certain steps, and then we find other universities or we also announcing it, and it's like, ah, see what we had already thought about. Uh, but that's always because of the person. The BOSA also talked about the ongoing project done by Professor Felix Kolawole. Chief Executive Officer is the drive. He's the one that drives the entire system, drives the workforce, drives the management team. And um, if you go to his uh, 12 point agenda, the 12 point agenda when he started with us, uh, you know, it's all very clear the direction he wanted to go. And one of such is to ensure that, you know, uh, projects that are started are delivered. You know, and uh, that's what we are seeing. That's what we are seeing all over the place. If you ask me, I'll say it is the drive because if the leadership is bad, then uh, you cannot have this result. I mean, he's a tax driver when it comes to that. When it comes to from the procurement itself to the starting of the project to the execution from A to Z. And that is why the projects are coming up. There is no single a uh, struggling project among the new project that we started here. And uh, with, uh, uh, without necessarily making so much noise, it is the drive of the person at the head. 
you know, uh, we feel the drive. Everybody feels the drive. He's always going to inspect projects here and there. Always, in fact, in, uh, within a quarter, many times you must go to see what they are doing there. He's not the one that sits down in the office and you know he goes out. He goes out from time, daily is going about the campus, not, not even projects. He's always moving to see what is happening there, what is happening there, and what's happening there. So, uh, and the, the entire management keys into it, and there you have the results. So, kudos to him. Dr. Bola Adekola, the Registrar, Federal University of Agriculture, Abel Kuta, also spoke on how income generation has helped in the execution of projects. Two things that uh, could be said to have initially come into this was um, the situation of what do we have as available funds to achieve this and how do we use the available fund to deliver so because there are two things when you talk about the projects on the campus therefore what i believe was done right by this administration under the leadership of the vice chancellor is to learn how to access funds. The available funds, be it um, third fund, be it this assessment, be it the capital fund allocation by the federal government in the yearly budget, we have successfully assessed them robustly in a way that uh, they are deployed towards the expansion of these facilities that I earlier mentioned. And that, I believe, is the number one success factor for the number of projects that are going on at the same time on the campus. The Registrar talked about Professor Felix Kolawole Salako's relationship among staffs into office one month after I have assumed also as the registrar. And um, my fair assessment of him is that of a, of a person who, one, understand the university system. And with that, he has a good knowledge of the of the forces and the counter forces within the system that can assist to ensure sources of the operations of, of a university. And we are talking about balancing between academic, non-teaching staff, students, stakeholders, uh, in the various, uh, the host communities and all the rest. So he has a fair knowledge of all this and he has been able to balance this and relate well with all these critical stakeholders within and outside the campus. Professor Salako has been involved in rural community development projects all over Nigeria. Some of these activities led to his being honored with chieftaincy titles Community development is sure that uh, we relate very effectively with uh, the rural communities. And the recent thing that we did, we were able to give uh, our products, agricultural products, to certain communities in Ogun State during the lockdown as palliatives. So we have our 10 tacos 
in different rural areas in Ogun State, promoting agriculture and supporting them with uh, facilities and all that. Just about a month ago, we were at uh, Mawuko and Chiba community, just close to near our dam, and we donated bowls to them. So we are we were involved in social services and community development, infrastructural development. I, that's part of my promise. And when you go around now, without boasting, you should be able to find about uh, 50 projects, if not more. And one thing we do. When we say projects, they include buildings, purchase of equipment, purchase of furniture, and uh, roads, road construction. Uh, we have been able to, to, to upgrade some roads, including Camp Alabata Road between 2017 and now. The Camp Alabata Road should not have been our concern. It's a government road, but we happen to be the major users of the road and I took it as a responsibility to find federal government fund to rehabilitate it. If you were here in 2018, you will know what I'm talking about in terms of the terrible condition of the road. Although it is getting degraded again due to the fact that every truck move on it, we did our best in 2019 to rehabilitate that road. And we are, we are concentrating on the inner roads now, intra-campus roads. And we are doing that too in terms of restart. So it's not just same buildings. Among the buildings that have been completed now include the, our library extension, uh, a complex called Agricultural Complex, a male hostel, and uh, which other building is that that is ready? Uh, a lot of rehabilitation work going on, even in the old buildings, which have been completed now. Has been very, 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 very good. He has contributed in so many ways to the development and growth of this university, both human in, human, in terms of human capacity and um, infrastructural development. In general, the Vice Chancellor as a person, I would describe his leadership as that of a visionary one, he is a strategist and then pragmatic. Uh, he, he, carry, he, he runs an, an, an uh, inclusive government Everybody must have a say in whatever we are doing. You will throw everything open. There are some issues or matters that uh, if it was somebody else, you would have taken decisions as the chief executive. But for Professor Felix Olawole Salako, many, many a times you will manage such things. Dear one, VCO, bring up at a principal officer's meeting. When I mean, say principal officer's meeting, it means all the other principal officers, the, de the deputy vice chancellors, the registrar, the bursar, and the university librarian, the, the, thing, the issue will be thrown open to them for discussion. And whatever decision arrived at will be upheld. It's not that he, I'm, the, I'm, the one, I'm the one in charge, I can do anything or whatever. It's not like that. He runs an inclusive governance. He carries his everybody along, even the students, he engages them in um, dialogue, the unions. At least that, uh, so far, so far. And um, that is why I would say by the special grace of God, he is achieving so much. Dr. Fenitola gave insight on how the university has developed under the new administration of Professor Felix Kolawole Salako. The university library has been so uh, favored in that the, we have the vice chancellor that knows the values of books and education, knowledge, you know, in that line. Uh, the, uh, the university library, which is called the Nibia Dedipe Library, has uh, not been uh, 
finding it so good on like this present administration. I'm not saying that the university is not uh, having the favor. We've been having favor, but under this present ad administration, you know, the library has been highly favored, if I can put it like that. Because, you know, like the, right now, uh, the library has a volume of uh, about 85,000 volumes of books, you know, and we have about uh, close to 200 titles of journal, different journals, not volumes, but journals. And then this make it uh, really, uh, it, it makes our students to have a variety of resources which we to uh, consult. And apart from the art copies, the library also subscribed to about six good uh, e-journals and e-resources. I can talk of uh, Springer Nature. Not many universities are so uh, privileged to subscribe to these uh, highly rated uh, database. We also have uh, EBSCOs, there's also uh, an e-resources database. And apart from that, the, uh, with the, the administration has just com uh, uh, completed the library extension. And that library extension is going to be, is really a complete electronic library because that is the uh, way the world is tending now, especially with the result of uh, COVID-19. Not many uh, university library are so lucky, but we have been so favored in the Federal University of Agriculture in having our Vice Chancellor, who is also a knowledge lover, and uh, is also a lover of book. So we have been so privileged. And apart from that, the library has been able to acquire a lot of uh, uh, digital uh, resources and uh, equipment. Like we are even thinking of uh, digitizing our thesis, you know. The thesis, some of them are, are actually in e-copy because, you know, at a stage, the student were has to submit the e-version of their uh, thesis. But, you know, we have to digitize the backlog, you know, because we want it to be visible to the whole world that FUNAP is actually a center of excellence. And by the time we uh, start on that project, you know, the university will be more visible. And uh, what, what uh, can I tell you that we are highly favored in this university, having a visionary leader. I don't discriminate against any human being. Have your religion, I have mine. And I think that was the way we were brought up at Ebutimeta. Every festivity was a festivity for us. Muslims, the traditional people. I think what was common there were the masquerades. Real masquerades, so not all this uh, jewelry wearing masquerades or those who wear red and black sauce. Real masquerades from from in the lands, from the villages in Lagos. The Muslim, the Christians, everyone, we live together. That was the way we were brought up. So the issue is everybody must know his limits. If you come here, if you come before me as the Vice Chancellor and you are insisting this is what we must do. With, even as a Christian, without recognizing my right to my own belief, I will caution you. So I can, I, can, I can relate to everyone because I recognize the fact that every human being has a right. The only thing is that there must be a level where we all respect the communal law, communal reg regulations. You cannot come to office now and say, okay, you are evangelizing, you are beating the bell, we will arrest you. So what makes it to work is the fact that I respect every human being. Professor Salako also talked about the people who inspired him while growing up. I made up my mind to be a professor when I was in secondary school. Who are the people who inspired me? Professor Balan Liawe, Professor Adia Jai, Professor Wale Shoyinka, and Professor, the one that was, uh, was a mechanical engineering, 
I was a mechanical engineer at Unilag. I would job be professor. I would job be. Those are the people who inspired me. I just wanted to be a professor, nothing more. Till today, if you come to my book, share a share book written by Wally Shrinka. There. Uh, professor Bolandi, I, I, I think I studied history and I came across this sort of Professor Adjajayi, Professor Bolandi, and of course uh, Professor Wally Shrinka in terms of uh, literature. And I would just be in terms of radicalism, you know. So do, I would just be influenced me in terms of radicalism. Of course, Fela Nicola Kukutichu, when it comes to radicalism, those are the things that I think molded me into this personality that I am. They were, and I will also give credit to my mother, who ensured that I went to from the schools, apostolic church from the school. Moloni Street, Butemeta, I think there, they also tampered me with being cool all the time. So those are the things that, so I would say even there, at least I learned about Jesus in primary school. So he influenced me. We have a, we have a, we have to understand what is going on. We have a completely different generation from us. And what do I mean? We have a digital generation, ICT generation. Before they even, before they come to ask you questions, they will have found something, some information on the on, on the internet. If you are not careful as a lecturer, the student asking you questions wants to test you. Information is just readily available everywhere. And it becomes difficult for parents to convince people of their children on certain things. Right from childhood now, they play with electronic gadgets, watching cartoons, forming opinions. So it's not just a question of young people being molded by adults. It's now a question of adults understanding what, how to un understand these young people. We need to understand them before we can really guide them. One thing I, I think we they must realize anyway, and it's a solid principle, if you don't work for something, you won't enjoy it. So if you think that uh, you can just have, be on the fast lane, you want to have all the money in, in the world at the age of 20, 25, you are deceiving yourself, it will crash. Because the work you have done, the solid things you have done will not be there. The foundation is not there. So we need to tell them that the reality is that no matter how fast you have moved, once you have destroyed another person to earn a living, be sure that there will be destruction on your part. Professor Salako is a deacon at Living Spring Chapel, Abeokuta. He is married to Deaconess Mabel Obey Salako and they are blessed with children and grandchildren. <laughs> Being an understanding person and okay. also a very hardworking VC and we hope that um, in years to come that FUNAP will be a place where students want to come and um, take agriculture as a livelihood, yeah, and something that they could benefit from. <laughs>